Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to play with some new products that I picked up along the way. I have the new Milani and Salt and Pepper palette, the Hot, Cool and Vicious palette. It has a highlighter shade in there as well. So we're going to be playing with this a little bit today. I also have in a Sephora Face Trio palette, which we're going to play with. I have in the newer from Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer, so we'll try that out today. I also have the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara, so we're going to try that out as well. And I have in, this is not new, but it is very new to me and I'm very excited to have it. This is the Peach Perfect Powder from Too Faced. It does smell like peaches, so if you have an aversion to peaches, I don't recommend it. So far, I like it pretty well. Full disclosure, I already filmed this video. It was a first impressions video, and I didn't like the way my look turned out, so I scrapped it, and I'm just going to redo it. So if you guys are down to just watch me redo a first impressions video, then stick around. We'll get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to be using is the Smashbox Oil & Shine Control Primer, which this one is fairly new. I haven't tried it out yet, but being that I'm an oily girl, I figure I might like it. Um, I don't like any of the Smashbox primers except for the primerizer. It works pretty well when my skin is really dry but most of the time my skin is really oily so let's just see how this is gonna go on the skin it absorbs rather nicely actually I thought there was gonna be some kind of film or something left over like most of the Smashbox primers nay nay so for my foundation I'm just gonna go in using my L'Oreal infallible foundation in the shade ivory which surprise surprise another one of my foundation shades is ivory go figure most of my drugstore shades are ivory so I really shouldn't be surprised by that I forgot to do my eyes first again. I did this in the last video that I filmed too that I didn't put out. I meant to do my eyes first and I forgot all about it. So that's okay. We're just gonna finish up the face, jump into eyes, and then go back into the face and clean up the eye area. Cause you know your girl is super messy when it comes to eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into eyes real quick before I finish anything else. So I think from the Hot, Cool, and Vicious palette, I will be using, the last look I did, I did these three shades right here. And it was okay, it was just really bold and red. And I thought it was gonna be a little bit more subdued with a nude lip, cause I thought I had a nude lip. Turns out it's a brown shade, super brown. So I think I'm going to go with these three shades right here, actually, and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to jump into this shade right here called The Remix. I'm just going to do that using my Jeffree Star JS number 5. Oh, I forgot to put primer on. Jeez, I'm way off my game today, you guys. Okay. First, we have to prime our lids, obviously. I'm just using my MAC Paint Pot to prime my lids like I always do. There we go. So now I'm gonna jump into this shade called The Remix and just apply some of that right in and above the crease. So how is it in you guys' neck in the woods? Like how are things going as far as, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube. My videos don't make any money anyway, so I don't know why I care, but. Um, with the outbreak, how are you guys doing? I know I live in California and they have recently shut down our state. No one is to do any unnecessarily traveling, any unnecessary traveling. So we're staying indoors. We've got all of our food. We need to go get some diapers for the baby, some wipes. We've got our toilet paper, of course. Everyone has their toilet paper these days. So we're pretty set. We've got some milk in the freezer. We're ready for this quarantine, you guys. We are ready. Although I'm not mentally prepared at all to sit in the house for the next two months with my two-year-old daughter and fiance. This will be a test, I assure you. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into this shade right here called 
what is this one called oh wait so this one this one right here was called beauty and the beat and then this one right here is called i'll take your man so we used beauty on the beat already and now we're going to jump into i'll take your man right here this one right here i'm just gonna pop that right in the creek i wish i could play some salt and pepper music but of course all their shit is licensed and trademarked so good luck getting a hold of any of that these are pretty good quality shadows actually to be just like drugstore shadows pretty good quality i have to admit okay now so i'm just gonna take my little pac-man wet and wild brush and jump back into i'll take your man and just pack that in the outer corner okay so now i'm just gonna take some of this shade right here which is called it's all right and i'm just gonna pop that in the rest of my lid just using my little ring finger there we go so that's pretty pretty so now let's go ahead and do some concealer and fix the rest of the face fix the eyes anyways so for concealer what will i be using today i think i'm just gonna use my nyx can't stop won't stop in the shade light ivory Okay, so I went ahead and finished my concealer and then I jumped back into the Salt and Pepper palette using the I'll Take Your Man shade, this one right here, and popping that just along the lower lash line. So now we wanna add an inner corner highlight. So I'm just gonna use this one right in the middle of the palette right here. Okay, so we've got that on. So we're finished with the salt and pepper palette. Let's just go ahead and put that away for now. Now next we need to set the face. So I'm just going to be using my Peach Perfect powder from Too Faced. And I'm just gonna use my Sephora little powder brush here. I just love the smell of this powder. It's absolutely amazing. It literally smells like peaches. I just cannot get over it. And it slick tastes like them too. I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bit in my mouth. It tastes like peaches. Okay, so now I need some brows. Let me hop off camera real quick and do some brows and I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Okay, brows are on. So in case you guys are wondering, I did use my Joa brow pencil in the shade Brunette and my Anastasia Clear brow gel just to set everything in place. And then of course I go in with my Benefit High Brow Glow just underneath the brow arch I do that every single time so brows are on let's go ahead and jump into um, a little bit of face spray refreshing spray just to kind of melt our powder into our face so I'm gonna be using the Fenty what it do refreshing spray and this just has such a fresh lightly floral scent to it. It's so nice and invigorating. I really appreciate it on the skin. So I'm just going to go in with my Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer. Just kind of sculpt my face a little bit. A wee bit. Do a wee bit down the nose. Just to kind of slim that down. A little bit under the lip and on the tip of the nose. Okay, so now we need some blush. So I'm going to jump into my Sephora Face Trio in the shade Dare. And I shall be using this shade right here for my blush. And I'll use this one right here for my highlight. So let's just go ahead and jump into that one. I'm going to be using my Sephora number 74 brush just for the blush. It's a pretty color. I like that. And those face trio palettes retail for like 14 bucks. So they're like a mega good deal. I have two of them actually. I have the Radiate and the Gleam shades. Gleam is more of like a pink icy it's like a pink blush and an icy white highlight okay so now i'm just going to take my jeffree star number js3 and jump into this highlighting shade right here okay so we've got everything on let's go ahead and set the face so i shall be using my jeffree star 
and Morphe Set and Refresh Mist. This is in the shade or scent Starberry. So it's supposed to smell like strawberries. The last time I used it, I felt that it left my skin a little bit sticky. I guess it was like the strawberry scent in there because the regular Morphe setting spray does not do that. Neither does the continuous matte setting spray. But this one left my face just a little bit sticky. So I'm going to try it out again today and see if it does the same thing. If it was just like another product I was using or what the deal was. So let's just go in with it. Oh, yep, it did the same thing again. My face feels sticky. I do not dig that. I don't know how much more I'll be using that setting spray. Although I love the scent. The scent is amazing and the continuous mist is absolutely amazing. I just don't appreciate the stickiness. It, I'm just not here for it. I'll continue to use my regular one and my mattifying one but the um, Jeffree Star one is gonna go on the back burner. Okay, so next we wanna do some lip color. So let's try out the Milani and Salt and Pepper lip kit that I got in the shade Shoop. It was supposed to be like a nude brown, but it's more like a brown brown. So let's just try it out and see what it looks like. If it looks dumb, we'll take it off, but I just wanna show you guys what it's gonna look like. So a friend who is supposed to be getting married in June not sure if that's still happening because of all this craziness we have in the world right now. Hopefully it is, but I know I'm not getting on an airplane while this stuff is still going on. If they give the all clear, I'm all for it. But otherwise, I'm just not down for it. I mean, I love her to death and I would love to be there but I just can't risk getting on an airplane, getting that and bringing it back home to my family or even giving it to someone at her wedding. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't wanna be a carrier of a disease that could kill, that could potentially kill people. So it actually doesn't look that bad today. With the other look I created, it just looked really wrong and I was like, ew, I need to take this off. But it looks okay today. I feel like. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara. We're gonna try this one out today. I won't be wearing any falsies just to kind of give you the full effect of the mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes real quick. What do we think? Here's the mascara. Here's no mascara. Do we like it? Do we love it? Do we hate it? I can't really decide just because my lashes kind of suck in general. They just look bad with just about everything. So, can't really make up my mind about it. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. And there we have it. That is the mascara. What do we think? I think it's okay. It's not the greatest mascara. It's pretty similar to the Better Than Sex mascara, which is not my favorite. So I don't know how well I'll be liking this mascara, but it's okay. I don't have any complaints about it so far. If it flakes or something, I'll let you guys know. Like I'll leave a pinned comment or something. All right, guys, so that is it. That is my finished look for my new products that I've got today. My the Milani Salt and Peppa palette, the Face Trio from Sephora, the new Peach, or my new peach Pre peach perfect powder from Too Faced. Jeez, if I could get that out. And the oil control shine primer from Smashbox along with the Milani lip kit. So we've tried out a few new good things. I feel like everything worked out pretty well actually, especially the face trio from Sephora. That was probably my favorite one. Or no, the peach perfect powder is probably my favorite and the face trio behind that just because this powder is absolutely amazing it smells just like peaches it blurs everything perfectly i am in love with this powder now i will probably re be repurchasing it as soon as i run out of it so thank you guys for watching and sticking around with me i really appreciate it if you like my video and like my vibe give me a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there because i greatly appreciate that so hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me i'll be seeing a lot more of you very soon all right i love you guys peace out